queue actually works. Weird. All right, let's play some mono red. I'm gonna kill a couple people with the red deck to finish these things. Not only does this game have a free to play option, but with these feature decks, you can see here, these two decks on the left side here say feature on them. When you log in uh, and you create an account, you have two feature decks that you don't have to own any of the cards into play. And you can play ranked and complete daily missions and all sorts of stuff with these. And which two feature decks you have access to rotates on Mondays and Fridays. So you can give it, give it a try on those days. Give it, get, try different things as they rotate through. Uh, our hand kind of sucks. It's got a lot of really expensive stuff in it. The deck has ones and twos in it. We just don't have any in the opener. How do they decide the decks? There's a pool of like 30 decks, I think, or 25 decks, and you get two at random. So that way, not every player has the same two free decks. You're not just playing a bunch of mirrors when you start. Yeah, this game is on Steam. Reporting. We drew another three drop. It's annoying. Hey, Bait. Thanks for the two months. Welcome back. Hope you're having a good one. It's going to be a little bit slow start here. At least we're on the play. Do we have a mission? Huh? I think I want to just use the Panic Raider and start drawing some cards here. My opponent's a little aggressive to start here, but I've got extra, extra, ex, ex, extract life to recover a little bit with later. And Magma Char plus Sideshow Chimera allows us to go wide a little bit here off of single cards. Yeah, so when you're building decks in this game... You pick what's called a path to go with it that gives you a different effect. I haven't really gotten into that. Um, so you see this rotates through different effects every turn. And the path impacts your health total starting from 20. And then the pursuit effect is who's ever on the draw gets a bonus. Which is, if you've heard me rant about magic game design, one of the biggest flaws in magic is that the person on the play has too big of an advantage. So the pursuit in this game does a really elegant job of like helping you catch back up that tempo depending on what path you've made. Fire Song Prodigy is an excellent draw. So that's that's exactly what we're looking for. So this gets to come into play. And then we can ignition this. When 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 this card comes into play, it creates an ignition card, which is just a shock. So we get to shock that. Get to hit their face. Another daring trap piece is excellent. Um My hand's pretty stocked at this point. So I think I'm just gonna burn the other panic raider. Yeah, I probably don't need Ringmaster. Let's get rid of that. What rank am I? Silver 8 or 9, I think. I don't I don't play this game that much. There's not there's only so many hours in the day. This is this is actually probably the longest I've played it in one sitting since I since I started playing. I've been playing streaming for almost two hours. There's a 2-6 that gets a plus five attack when it hits a certain thing. Hey, look, we drew a crimson pack, so let's kill that. Goodbye, Felicia. That was a good draw. Well, I can tell you exactly what I am, actually. View profile. I'm silver 10. That was close to right. Uh, so I technically messed up that combat. My minion was fragile from being in winter on this turn thing, so I should have killed their 2-1 since I was trading anyways. So, mistake on my part. 
fortune favors us. Yeah, this game's really well done, Demonto. Alright, so Magmatar is super powerful. When he comes into play, he does three damage to the opposing three lanes. So he's gonna come down here and just uh tell them to shove it. Just come at me. So I'm now down two points of life because I killed the wrong minion earlier. So this thing slow that mistake slowly adding up. Let's see if we can stabilize here or not. Yeah, their their health doesn't really matter. Like they're the they're the aggro deck, so like where they're gonna stabilize and then win by win by a lot or uh, the mana system is similar to Kaijudo or the old WoW TCG. If you've played that, you can discard a card from your hand to gain a resource of that color, essentially. So the Chimera, when it comes into play, it creates some extra heads. The TCG market is brutal. I agree. A little bad. Thanks for the 20 months. Unfortunately, just like having a good game and good software is not, a, not enough to guarantee being successful. So, we're ahead on board, but we're down on health total, and my opponent's got infinite cards in their hands. Well, they've got, what, four, five, six, seven, eight? Four. This is a draw two, so, like... We'll see. We'll see where they go. No, no software complaints here, especially, especially coming from the garbage fire that is Magic Magic Arena and Magic Online. Magic Magic Arena and Magic Online are frequently not pretty. Um, do I get greedy and pay three, draw three? I think so. I have this gain life in my hand. Ooh, we hit a we hit an angel. That's good. So this has life tap. So in addition to these extract lives being lined up, this can gain four when it when it gets into combat. So again, this cannot hit my face. It's obligated to hit this. Hey there. Them, them stacking this up in front of it here, if they don't jam this in, my magma targets to kill this, which is nice. I assume they're going to run this 2-2 two -two into here, but that also gains me four life back, which undoes a lot of their hard work, right? So they might be, might be hesitant to do that. If they don't attack this into here, I've got another magma target to just like end their whole career. We just drop this here and it kills both of these. Uh, why did they give this one deadly? Was that a misclick, maybe? I feel like they probably meant to give deadly to the one that can attack this turn. Nope, they did not. Yikes. Um, so I'm at five. I think at this point, I'm supposed to be conservative and play this and extract life here just to gain five. Oh, oh, I keep forgetting that this game that's uh, that's different than magic So you can't deal more damage than the thing has toughness So even though it spent all five of my mana, it could only deal three so I only gained three So that was another mistake. I should have played the one cost out and then dealt four to it In in magic you can over deal damage and gain more life back, but this game works differently
Yes, yeah, the rarity of a card dictates how many copies you can play in your deck. So, this card is rare, because it's yellow. Oh, look, they lined up my Magmatar for me. Good night, sweet prince. I mean, games, games are hard. I make, I make mistakes all the time. Just ask my wife. I don't care for rarity being tied to deck slots. I feel like it increased variance, especially with how strong some of them are. To a degree, I also think there's enough card draw in this game, though, and the decks are small enough that you can expect to see most of your deck in a lot of these games, especially the non-aggro games. So, like, having it, having it balanced in that way doesn't seem terrible. Oh, that's rude. All right, so what am I doing? Um... I think I'm starting on this to draw three. Huh? So now I have a couple decisions to make. I feel like... I feel like I'm supposed to... Just extract life this to stay up above ten. So even though I could kill this with Wings of Abaddon... I think killing it with this to gain four is more ideal. I don't know. Variance, I also think double red that variance is good for card games. And like, this game's removing and we're dead. I also think this game this game removes an incredible amount of variance that games like Magic has. So, like, adding adding variance in another element is also good. So, what happened there was my opponent has a card that gives all their minions that cost three or less, or that have four or less attack. Haste, our deck's actually playing that card too. And then they played another card that filled up the rest of their board. So, because, because our board was empty because they swept us, they kind of, like, set up a two-turn kill. I don't, I don't think we're going to get to five wins tonight, chat. I don't, I don't think we're going to do it. If we, win, if we win this one, I'll try one more to get it, but it's 10 after 11. I need to go to bed so I can work tomorrow. <laughs> so I can get back up and do this again with magic in the morning. I'm going to lose the dollar. It's the worst. Just spew, spew value everywhere. This is, this is actually the card that they played, the last opponent played to kill us. So, the positioning in this game is really interesting, and you could probably write a number of articles on it. But to give you a very, very loose definitions of how you should be positioning, if you're trying to be aggressive, you want to position your minions on lanes one, uh, one, four, and seven, because this allows you to space your minions out the most, so it's hardest for your opponent to block them. If you're looking to be defensive with your minions, you want to place them on like uh, two and then here, so they can block the most lanes. So what, what role you're taking kind of dictates what you want to be doing with your minion positioning.
Agile destroys enchantments in lane before it attacks through them. Neat. All right, so that's a 2-6. That's pretty annoying. Um, correct, yeah. So when you're building, there's no there's no deck restrictions, basically, in this game. So what, what hero power you have and what path your deck takes can be whatever you want, regardless of what cards are in your deck. My opponent's actually playing a three-color deck. Much of my experiment with it. We spent the first... We've been live for almost two hours, and for the first, like, 90 minutes tonight, we played a... Uh, what's it called? We played a, a orange... Orange... Orange something else deck. I'm forgetting. It's... It's... It's past my bedtime. All right, so this is a six-six orange yellow. There you go. I knew I knew it wasn't red. All right, so I think I magmatar here to kill both their guys. We're still pretty nice and healthy here, so this draw three, lose three should be in a good spot. Yeah, yeah, I agree. The fact, the, the reason why Hearthstone lost my interest so quickly was because the depth of the deck building in it was incredibly shallow. And this game, this game has an incredible amount of depth to its deck building, it feels like, because of the amount of combinations that you're allowed to play. That was a good draw. Probably need to kill this before it gets uh, gets out of hand. I think I'm gonna win this one. Opponent draws a card, it loses one. Oh, so this is this is gonna drain its energy. Ooh. Alright, Ringmaster. Ringmaster's real good. So this is uh part of the one two one two combo with the seven ring ritual. So we're gonna play Ringmaster over here. I think we're just gonna go ahead and crimson pack this guy. Kill him, take six. I'm gonna end the turn. So warded means I can't doomblade this. They had a thunderclap to kill my guy, and that's smart. So uh, they have one card I don't know. I think I just seven ring ritual here. I think that's the line. This card fills every empty lane with a three one. They have another clap. We're probably dead. Nope, doesn't look like it. So we get to clear our way through here. So traded my traded like one of my cards for their board, which is like a pretty good rate. I think I'm actually just throwing that one back. My health total's kind of low. When you play a new card game, what types of decks do you try to build? Most always aggro. You always you always want to you always want to try and be the one ans answering the questions, asking the questions, not the one answering them. 
So the colors are the number of the amount of... So yeah, so the... And this card costs six resources to play and it requires I have two red pips or uses up two red pips to play it. I'm gonna get Giddin Angel and just be super sad here. This last card... Last card's always an Angel. Wasn't an Angel, God bless. Sweet, and this gets the life link now, which is excellent. So this card's Agile, so it just gets to hit their face. Puts them to nine, gains me four. Um, let's draw. Do you run Jigo Mansion? I don't know what that card is. The Chimera is here. Oh, I do not, Double Red. Reporting. That's a little too controlling. I just want to aggro people. Do we have a mission? Reporting. All right, they spread their guys out pretty well here. Are they not dead? No, they're dead, right? This, this Agiles. This Agiles to here. This eats here. This hits them. All right, I'm gonna try and get the last win, but um, it's late and I'm still kind of new to doing it, so I forgot. I have to run a minimum number of ads per hour for my uh, my stream team, so I'm gonna run a couple minute ad break here just so I don't don't not hit that quota. So I'm gonna run I'm gonna run a two minute ad and hold you in suspense before we play the last game. Sorry, just gotta rules rules are rules. We signed, we signed a contract. I'm gonna export the highlight of the first part of this stream while we're waiting. Do I have all the sleeves and trims? I don't think so. Hey, thanks for sticking on D20 Bandit. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Is this game free to playable? Yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of pack codes floating around too because they just sent out a bunch of them for the I just sent out a bunch of pack codes they just sent out a bunch of pack codes for their for their last patch update so if you ask around in Discord you should be able to find some of those all right <laughs> we're almost we're almost done. Let's find one more game here. Hopefully, hopefully one more. We're gonna try one more. We're on, we're on one more, one more match win to get our dollars worth of coins. Hey Mal, yeah, that were you the were you the one that we played that went really long? Oh no, is it too late at night? I've never tried to play this late at night before. Usually, usually I'm in bed by now. I have an achievement to claim. I do have an achievement to claim. Kill a thousand minions. Yeah, coins. 
All these random things you get coins for. Play green cards. I played play red cards. Play two thousand red cards. Working our way up. A lot of red. Red's the color I've played the most. Believe it or not. Yeah, you can you can sample this game really easily for free because of the way the feature decks work. So I showed this earlier, all waiting to queue. So these two these two decks are decks that are pre-built here that I have access to even if I don't own the cards. I think that I think that's the longest I've ever waited in the queue. It's almost two minutes. We go first. Sounds good. One little pop. My poor pup. At least he gained me two. Hey, look, another one. Someone was asking me earlier requests I had for the game. One thing I do wish there was an option for that Arena's kind of spoiled me on. I wish that I could toggle a thing to auto pass my turn for me when, um, to auto pass my turn when I don't have any legal game actions to take. Cause like, I'm so used to arena auto passing my turn. I definitely like sat there like an idiot with nothing to do, like waiting for it to pass. Not waiting like, oh wait, it's waiting for me. Especially if I'm like playing on mobile and not super paying attention. Yeah, during non-magic games, I toggle the sub-only mode off. Because generally, generally speaking, there's less people here for non-magic games. Alright, let's trade this here. Play this one down here and attack their face. One's playing like red purple aggro it looks like yeah sub sub only modes mostly on during magics when you hit like a thousand people plus concurrently the check it's a little crazy i want to make sure i can see messages from people who pay me you're getting beat up chip Doesn't seem very useful. I guess I guess I should have had this kill here earlier. It's probably greedy on my part not to. I'm just gonna play this and kill that. I think I'm gonna slide this down and say go. My health total's in danger a little bit at the moment. This thing, when they die, it does one damage to all minions and players. They have an oak as well. So, if we weave in here, we can kill this. They get to... When this dies, they get to Divination 3 and then draw a card. So the card's real good. And then... I think I want to slide this down and trade this off. I think I want to burn something still at this point. Hey, nice gamer. Yeah, magic. Magic's my full-time gig these days. Pays, pays the mortgage. I'm gonna die to this card. Maybe I should have. Actually, you know what? Again, I, I think I'm pretty sure I messed up here. I could have. I could have taken this and slid it down instead of attacking them because, like, they want to play all of their stuff here, right? 
So like if I if I had been more conservative, I would have I would have not taken a hit to the face here. I don't know who that is. Good chance we just die here. So I don't have this lane covered. Another, another, yeah, that kills us. No! Oh no, our coins, chat. Our coins aren't gonna happen. We're not, we're not gonna do it. I'm gonna try one more. Rank match queued instantly. This is it. It's destiny. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We queued up, queued up right, right away. Cube. That's sad. Got one. Got a live one. They can't kill you if you kill them first. This deck, this deck got like some aggressive draws, but it's pretty mid rangey at the core. It's got a lot of things that draw cards in it. Yeah, Sam's got a great curve. One good one, two. Fire Song Prodigy, super powerful. A grizzly, grizzly bear that then shocks something else. And they're, they're doing a whole lot of nothing, so... One, one other thing that's cool, too is a little message just popped up. I'm not sure if you could see it with my overlay that said someone was following me. You could live spectate games and watch replays in client. So like, I play this game off stream more than on stream because I play games, games sparingly here and there. Like I usually don't sit and play for two and a half hours. So like, you you can like watch the games I'm playing through through that, which is neat. All right, so... I think, I think I'm going to wait and make them attack here. Because I could attack this plus ignition it, but that's really not resource efficient, right? Like, I want to play a three drop this turn. And then, like, on turn four, I can play a three drop plus ignition to finish this. Got super punished for my choice there. Super, super punished. Hmm... Gaining life with this later might be useful. All right, well, I guess, I guess we'll do this and cash these in. Yeah, small, small indie company with actual social features. The, the feature list in this game just like puts Arena to shame. It's kind of, kind of funny in a way. Funny, did I say funny? Did I, did I say funny? I meant sad. This is the one that gets bigger, gets smaller when I draw cards. Sure, so we're gonna draw a bunch next turn. I think I'm burning the bowl here. Although the bowl means next turn, if I hold the bowl, I could go 3 3 next turn potentially. I'm going to burn one of my sixes. I think I want to hold on to this five because it's life tap potentially in case I take a beating. So like, this is a two six, which is pretty big. It gives it regen one, right? No, your other means get a free move action, sure. Hey there. So they're spreading their minions out, so it's a little bit harder for me to attack. Um, huh? Wings. So I could take the wings and trade this here. I think that's reasonable. 
I could also play Sideshow Chimera and like spread out here. Also doesn't seem bad. I think I want to Sideshow Chimera and spread out here. And the reason for that is it gives me the flexibility to play a four plus a plus a three next turn. So use my mana a little bit more efficiently here. Like my health total is still kind of high, so I don't need to be super, super aggressive in terms of picking the stuff off the board just yet, I don't feel. There's a good chance this Chimera like clears out both of these. And like this can clear this, then we have Crimson Pack for their next threat. Yeah, I feel like we're pretty close to parity, I agree with that. Oh, yeah, I forgot they could pump that up. That's fine. This still this still works out okay. So I have uh my my power is impel to move my thing, so I can have this get a move action and then slide it down. And then have this finish here, and then have Wings of Abaddon kill this. Alright, change of plans. I'm gonna burn a bull here. Usually, usually you want to get to eight or nine resources. It makes double spelling a little easier. This thing is divinationing two every turn, which is like stacking their deck a little bit. When this dies, they get a free four four. It's pretty aggressive, so probably don't want to interact with that one. They burned up to seven. Seven ring ritual, you say? I'm just gonna hang out on that one for now. So let's do this. I'm gonna slide slide this down so that way their four four doesn't eat it. Can use my my face as a bit of a a barrier for the time being. This card is a 2-2 two -two with Rush, so it can attack right away. And then when it hits my opponent with Breach, it makes itself smaller and draws a card. So it's basically like a, a deal three, draw two for three. impact that and see where we go they're down to 12 extract life is pretty reasonable I'm gonna play the bull over here yeah their twitch integration is very well done and again cannot stress enough how much i appreciate that that integration is in this client directly and not just like something that they're depending on third-party developers to update and maintain super super well done and clean Hey, to be to be fair, two and a half hours is like short compared to my normal day, right? Hey there. Burning panic reader is sacred. I don't know, my hand's pretty stacked at the moment. All right, so I can Crimson Pact this. And then I can Weirvin here. This is like a pseudo trade because they're going to get... Maybe maybe that, maybe that trade is wrong and I'm just supposed to like face them there. I can see that. Because they're at, they're at six, so if I would have faced them... They'd be at three, but I'd be at four from this four four. It's pretty close to dead. It's probably not very good.
So, I can play this here. And then I can burn this. And then extract life this for lethal. Put me to 12. Put them to 3. I've got two lethal threats in play. This could be it, chat. Can you can you feel that dollar's worth of coins? Can you feel it? Can you feel can you feel the value? Can you feel the value? Get get an angel is very good. She's she's very, very good. I mean if they if they get in us, like, I get to seven ring ritual. And like I get to divination three draw card. So like even if they get an angel here, like I get uh I get four shots at a weirvin, right? How many of those do I have left? I got one one iron belly weirvin in my deck. Panic reader's pretty good too. Wow, that's a combo. So take control of an enemy minion till end of turn, and then this tucks it, and lets them draw a card. That's sick. Are they dead? You dead to my 4-4? Four, four? They're dead to my 4-4. Four, four. Got it. Good game. Yeah, we got our coins. We did it, chat. We did it. Should we wrap up by opening our booster packs? We're going to open so many booster packs, chat. One. One dopamine, please. That 5600. At least. They're free to play like a pro. I am I am nowhere close to free to play. I think I, I think I've given them like two or three hundred bucks at this point. I'm a, it's <laughs> whale noises. Ooh, mythic. So, and another, another great thing that this game has, because all their technology is great, it seems like, um, I can see, I can click on my picture here and know I have 100% of commons, 100% of uncommons, 97% of rares. Look at that. Look at that nice 69% of mythics. Look at that. Perfection, chat. Not opening any more booster packs. We're done. Call it, call it a day. Auto unmake my extras. Got a got enough dust left over here, or whatever this is called. To essence. Got enough essence left over to make one more mythic. 30, 3300. Never heard of this game, is it's new? It re it hit open beta last month. Game's great though. You can watch if you want more of this your first this is your first time seeing me stream this. You can find uh, videos we've seen a couple of times in the past on my YouTube channel. If you missed any tonight's stream, we went for like two and a half hours. All of that's going to go up on YouTube later as well. Uh, I will catch all of y'all, uh, some of you in the morning probably. I'm going to be live again in about uh, eight and a half hours from now with some Magic the Gathering. So 